child. Tuck yourself in bed. Let me tell a story of Lemuria, a kingdom past, and a girl born for glory. Hi, I'm, I'm Jeffrey O'Hallam. I'm the writer of Child of Light. Child of Light is about a young girl, the daughter of a duke from 1895 Austria named Aurora, who wakes up one day in this uh, magical lost continent called Lemuria. And um, she uh, wanders through this world looking for her way home and discovers that the sun, the moon, and the stars have been stolen by this evil queen and she needs to recover them to get back. But um, along the way, she'll uh, discover that there's a lot more going on than she originally thought. Lost from our world came she. Treachery gave close chase. It's a love letter to JRPGs, but at the same time, it's much more accessible. Um, it's trying to bring this style of play to gamers who have never uh, played a JRPG before. It's a brilliant rule set that really challenges you to think uh, during combat, during it's turn-based, so you wait and kind of contemplate your next move. So it's a very different form of, uh, of navigating through a fight than you would find in um, other genres. And uh, at the same time, it's a, we wanted to create something that's like a playable poem. So um, it uses the UB art framework, so you can take concept art from uh, you know that's that's been made and directly imported into the game. And so we have this beautiful art style, and um, the music is going to set a unique mood, and uh, the writing is in rhyme. So it's an epic poem. Three long lost lights to save, a mad queen to defeat. The journey would transform her, her destiny to meet. There's a timeline during combat that charts where the, the enemies are in terms of, you know, they're kind of building an attack, they're preparing an attack, and where Aurora, the main character, is in preparing that attack, and the, the characters that she works with in combat. So you're partnered with people in combat. And so um, when Aurora is ready to attack, she chooses an attack and then there's an attack period where she uh, like basically delivers that attack. And during that period, which is this red zone, an enemy can interrupt her attack, which will cause her to lose a turn and become vulnerable, or she can in interrupt other enemy attacks. And so there are certain attacks that are faster in the red where Aurora will uh, shoot through the red to pass an enemy and then attack them so they get interrupted. And there are enemies who can also uh, stop Aurora on the timeline and there are allies that will help you speed up and slow down time. It becomes this really uh, interesting, complex game of figuring out when to hit and when not to hit and when to dodge and, and, and block. We introduced this idea of uh, cooperative on the couch gameplay, you know, where you're next to the person that you're playing with on the screen because um, we were inspired by, uh, you know, playing something like Nino Cuny, and, and the problem is you, know, you can only play single player and so you have to wait. Um, if you have a child, for instance, you have to wait for the child to go to bed before you can play, which seemed counterintuitive to us because uh, you want to play the game with your family and you want to um, experience this, this thing in, you know, not alone, you know. I think traditionally a lot of games have been about going off on your own and kind of being separate from people. We wanted to create an experience that was about togetherness. And so uh, we created um, this two-player co-op where you can sit with the other person and uh, each of you plays a different character. One of you plays Igniculus, who is the Aurora's uh, friend, this Firefly, who helps her through the darkness. Or you can play Aurora. And the different styles of play um, allow you to be, you know, more lazy and more laid back, or more um, in front, making decisions, and also the interaction between the two characters and how you feel as you're playing each factors into their relationship in the game story as well. So you you kind of experience that uh, that sidekick versus uh, hero relationship um, literally. Child of Light is a coming of age story. You know, Aurora uh, comes of age along with the player because, you know, in a JRPG you're leveling the character and that leveling, you know, you choose who the character becomes through skill trees and um, 
I wanted to explore that character formation in the story. And so you have this young girl who is um, a certain kind of person when she arrives in the world. She's uh, mischievous and forceful, but also very sheltered. And, and then she kind of encounters uh, this dark world and has to make her way through it. And um, she's learning to defend herself and she's learning to, uh, to challenge ideas that she's been taught in the past. And so that growth and that transformation was something that um, I felt had a lot of power. Um, I think, especially for my generation, our parents really protected us a lot. Uh, because they wanted the world to be a certain kind of place. And in school, you're also taught that the world should be this righteous, logical, fair place. And then you uh, leave that environment and you kind of face uh, a world that is not logical or fair always. I mean, I think we're getting better at making it like that, but I, at the same time, I think if you're unprepared for the world as it is, you end up in a pretty bad situation. And so, I, I wanted to create a fairy tale that um, talked about that, that um, kind of showed the world for what it really was, not what we want it to be in our head. Fairy tales traditionally have been about imbalances in the culture at the time. You know, we wanted to go back to this, to the place where fairy tales came from, that serious. It's not a dark place, but it's a real place. You know, like not just do a fairy tale because it, it's beautiful, but do a fairy tale because it says something uh, that society needs to express at that moment. And so um, what I would say is, if you look at the great fairy tales, even the ones created today, like The Lion King, or, you know, a little earlier, like Bambi, um, they are dark. And it's not too dark, you know, we're not talking Pan's Labyrinth. But for me, that's one end of the scale. You look at Pan's Labyrinth, that's a super dark fairy tale, and then you, you can look on the other side at something that is very fluffy and safe, and we're in the middle. Child of Light is coming out in uh, 2014. Um, I more specific, but we'll see. I think earlier rather than later. Um, and it's coming out for PC and current gen and next gen consoles uh, and as a digital download. The path home tragic and fate.